everybody welcome back to the channel and to a flip through of another Teresa Goodridge coloring book this is country farm scenes from creative haven as published by Dover publications I am really excited to flip through this one I haven't watched a flip through of this one so this one's gonna be a surprise to me but it was actually one of the cheapest ones that I had able available to purchase so I figured I'd snap it up and have a look through it so yes, let's have a look. So here's our inside cover color plate. Jiggards. I feel like this is going to be quite up my alley in terms of potential things to color, but we'll have a look. And then we have a probably a reproduction of a later on image. I'm not sure. All right, so straight away. Hmm. Yeah, no, you had a slightly thinner paper. This did come out as 2019, but according to this, it was produced in 2022. So it does feel like they've switched to the thinner paper in this one. It's not massively thin compared to the thicker papers. Like, it's not a huge difference. It is just a slightly lighter paper. Um, all that means for me is I'll use, I won't use wet media in it, but it'll still be perfectly fine for pencils. A tranquil, tranquil, oh my gosh, we're already struggling with the words. I usually read these pretty well. Okay. <clears throat> a tranquil country setting is the perfect place to keep calm and farm on. As pictured in this charming coloring book, rustic scenes including everything from birds perched on a watering can and bountiful fruit and vegetable stands to a delectable, delectable picnic lunch, a pumpkin filled pickup truck, in a kitchen promising home-baked goods. These 31 realistically rendered images specially designed for the advanced colorist are printed on one side only and perforated for easy removal and display. So it sounds like we're getting a mixture of autumnal, the autumnal books, the kitchen book, um, and just various farm aesthetics, which I think this is going to be right up my alley. I'm hoping with that keep calm and farm on, we don't have a word page. Like, I'm hoping it's all scenes. But yes, here's our birds on the watering can. I love the perspective in this. I love the fact that Teresa does, like, a foreground, midground, and background. And so you have that natural movement of your eye across the page. You end up looking at each element. And I love the detail in the flowers. This one. Oh, that's cute. Big basket of fresh vegetables. Yum. And fruit. I see strawberries in there. Which does make me question because strawberries are usually summer, but apples and pears are fall to winter. Hmm. Oh well, maybe there's some greenhouses. <laughs> Looks cute. That's the main thing. Tractor. Tractor on the farms. Oof. I'm going to have to learn how to colour tractors. I haven't coloured a tractor before, so that'll be fun. Oh, little puppies sleeping on the porch. Brickwork's going to be fun too. That's something I haven't coloured before. I'm looking forward to trying brick brickwork. Life is better on the farm. Hmm. Okay, so I have mentioned this a couple times. I'm not a fan of these text pages however there is a potential here because this sign this is a sign hanging in the trees now technically if you covered over the top of this cow um, and made it appear like the sign was in front because this is in the foreground this is your midground and then that's your background so if you had this on front and you just had the cows peeking under the sign you could turn this sign into anything you want. Like I could put in here, you know, Amy's farm. I could turn this into Amy's farm and turn this into a little personalized page or something like that. Like that could be a really fun thing to do with this page. And then it's no longer a text page. Like 
it's so close to a scene, an actual scene, and with just simply taking a Posca, blocking out that little line on the top of the cow, like the top of the hair there, and just making it a little squared off, you know, blocking out the words, turning this into wood texture, and then you could put in your own sign. This could be a really fun page. Mm. Let me know what you think. Is there an idea? Should I do that? Should I show you? I just realized I got stuff all over my palm there. <laughs> um, it's probably pain. Yeah, let me know what you think. Should I turn this into, like, convert this page? I still like it. I really like the cows. <laughs> More cows. The dairy industry is quite a big employer in my region. Taranaki does a, quite a bit of dairy so very cute to see i also like the uh the wine glasses i'm a little confused here because it looks like we're on a blanket but then we've got the grass forming here so unless the blanket goes behind here and the grasses yeah i suppose if it's on an angle and that's on an angle maybe that line should come behind there in the glass too that's okay it's probably meant to be a little line there or something just little things but things that i would work out during coloring doesn't affect the overall page and it does show sort of the hand-drawn nature of these images happy hen house i would love to have some hens if only for the sake of getting eggs every day because eggs is a staple in my diet and oh my god are they expensive little sheep oh my god look at the little sheep oh i love that page Little scarecrow, all the pumpkins. It's a very cute page. The horses and the piggies. Oh my gosh, yes. I was, so I really did get into horses for a while there when I was 11 or 12. And it was because I had a drawing book on how to draw horses. And I drew every book, every horse in that book, which it was really good about learning shading and pencil techniques. Uh, it was all graphite. Um, but because of that, people presumed us into horses, which, I mean, they were cool. Like, I got to go on a couple of horse rides and, you know, like, they were cool. I admitted they were cool, but I wasn't a mad horse girl. I couldn't tell you the breeds of the horses. I just liked sketching them because <laughs> I had the book that was teaching me how to sketch. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Again, I love how this is framed. Again, this is another element of Teresa's that I really love is how she does this framing technique and has these images like with that depth built in. Again, we've got foreground in the apple trees, midground in the chickens, and then the background of the barn. And it just gives you this movement on her pages. And I love it so much. Oh, they're so good. So many animals in this book. I'm so happy. The water, the duckies. Are they ducks? I'm not sure. I might have to look that up, see if I can figure out what type of birds they are. Cows. Pickup truck, ute, car, I don't know. Vehicle. <laughs> I also don't know cars, but that's cute. It will be, it's like a cute rounded shape and it can be cute, so that's fine. I would colour it pink. That's my first thought. And so we have another one that is so close to a scene. But then we have the Live Laugh Farm. But again, where it's placed on the page, like redraw, finish drawing in that, that barrier. You have a little bit of the fence there and the rest of it's grass. Like... It's coverable. It's workable. It could be done. Let me know. Is this something you're all interested in? Like how to turn this, get rid of these words? Because this is like a scene. It's a beautiful scene with the lambs. I love it. I just don't want that. Oh, I do love this. So <laughs> chicken on the loose.
I wish I could garden. I love gardens. I love gardens. I love walking around gardens. I think flowers are beautiful and it's just so lovely to sit there, listen to the bird song, enjoy the sun and smell all the glorious flowers. I just don't have green fingers. I, I kill plants. I'm really not great at planting and flowers and stuff. I admire it. It's just not something that's in my wheelhouse and that's okay. You know. Goats. Love that too. Oh, there's a lot of really gorgeous pages in here. Taste of the country. No, oh, look at the happy little pig. <laughs> it's great. So I'm going to have to learn how to do tractors and there's our truck again. But I like that. I like the challenge of having like these more, these objects in here too, which also helps break up the page and gives you something, you know, to figure out how to color, something new to challenge you. Yes. Now this is very similar to a page that I have already colored by Teresa Goodridge. Um, because, whoops, I have been working pretty extensively in It's a Cat's World. That's why I became obsessed with Teresa Goodridge. But we have this image here where we have the porch swing and we have the shutters with the flowers. Although that's a pot instead of a flower box. Um, like it is different. It's not exactly the same. But there's definitely elements that are very similar there. Which is interesting. It's not like a bad thing. You know, she's got a style. She's got motifs that she uses. I just find that funny. If you're somebody who's like, oh, well... You know, I don't want to call the same thing. Maybe that might be an issue to you if you have, you know, it's a cat's world, do you need this page? Or this page could be in it's a cat's world. It's your personal take on it. I don't mind it though because I love it's a cat's world and now I have an excuse to colour a bunch of cats again. Gorgeous little country village scene. I love the cows. <laughs> Look at all the flowers. Oh my gosh, that's a page. That's going to be a page and a half to work on. So many gorgeous flowers though. Little kitchen scene with a chicken on the loose. Little donkeys, yes. I love, I love all the different types of animals in here. Oh my god, yes. This one, this one might be my favourite so far. Just because the little waddles, I can just see them waddling. <laughs> Is there anything better than ducks and geese waddling? <laughs> oh, that's pretty too. The rocking horse and the dog. And a bit of a different angle because I know I've seen a couple where it's been a rocking horse, a rocking chair on a por on the porch bench. But it's been like looking at this wall. So having it from this angle is a bit of a different angle and I like that. And there's our keep calm and farm on. Yeah, I was hoping that wouldn't be there but it's okay. It's a page. It just, again, these are not my favourite. And with the other two at least being workable, I mean that's cool. That's something. I know what that'll be. That'll be ink. Yeesh. Anyway. <laughs> all the yummy garden veg. <gasps> Look at all the cows and the bunnies. Oh, yes. We have a gorgeous little kitchen page. So this is sort of similar to the country kitchen charm book. I can see elements of that in this book, so maybe those pages were the inspiration for creating a whole book of it. All the farm vehicles. And there is a coloured plate version of that page. So you can see where the little bit that you would need to chop off is and then can add in our own sign. I think that's doable though. 
And there we go. There is a flip of Country Farm Scenes. What did you think of the book? Do you like my idea of how to convert those pages with the text into regular scenes instead of a text page? Is that something you'd be interested in seeing about how to do? Please let me know down below. I love hearing from you all. I hope you've been enjoying all these Teresa Goodrich flips. Uh, there's still a few more to come out <laughs> when the books get here. <laughs> I've brought a few of them. I'm really excited to get diving into a bunch of her work and get colouring. I'm super excited. Let me know what I should be working on down below. Can't wait to hear from you all. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.